you could you probably make an argument that whooping cough and measles are the um, two canaries in coal mine who would start to show themselves first for different reasons. Measles being uh, so contagious. Um, pertussis actually quite contagious as well, but um, immunity with pertussis being one that wanes and need for boosters and things like that. I think that the, if, if we are going to start seeing reemergence of vaccine preventable diseases due to lower rates, it feels like those will probably be the two first ones. Um, measles in smaller number numbers, pertussis in much larger, but, um, both potentially tragic. I think part of what goes along with this, especially with, with pertussis whooping cough, is when we talk vaccines, a lot of times with these things, we're all focused, once again, we're focused on little kids. And really this is a situation where, well, this is one where the older kids matter too, and the adults matter in our world. So at 11, making sure that we get that, 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 um, that tetanus diphtheria pertussis vaccine at, and then every 10 years after that, um, because it really is helping protect all these babies who are, who are most prone to having severe complications of this, we're helping protect them as well because our immunity does wane over time. So we need those boosters. 